Here is a 2016 Model X with autopilot. Yay. It's my wife's car, but she's not around, so let's take it to Ventura. Oh, now it says auto steer unavailable for the rest of the drive. Oh, it's penalizing me. Uh, regulations. So in addition to some little leaks around these windows, Clint was just pointing out that there are some leaky areas here under the hatch. Oh, I love the absorbers. Dude, this thing I is love the absorbers. Sweet. Oh yeah. Termite droppings. <laughs> it's not pepper. And if it's special or weird, then you're going to want to rethink maybe just making a new shaft. But what it did is it gave the boat some tooth for that paint. It's going to go in there and stick super, okay. super good. Will they hit it with all the same kind of paint now? The first coat will be this kind of thick Well, once primer. they get this sanded down, they'll prime the whole thing. If anybody ever takes a shower in here, I kill them. <laughs> no shower. We just, just strictly for... That's for putting grease fires out on the stove. Uh, very nice, exactly. <laughs> That's for putting out the grease fires. Well, these are some drawings by Nikola Tesla. These are some of his patents. And even though he never imagined this, here is a 2016 Model X with autopilot. Yay. It's my wife's car, but she's not around. So let's take it to Ventura. All right, well, we're in the Model X and uh, we are in traffic, which is where this uh, autopilot really works well because it read the car ahead of you. Right now it's programmed to go 70 miles an hour, but of course it's only going about 10. But I'm able to even do this while I've still got my hand. It's actually still on the wheel, but I don't need to. It's gonna beep at me a little bit. Oh, see somebody's pulling in front. What does the Model X do? Oh, it slows down. That was not me. I'm not touching it. It is driving. So I think this is really where it's uh, great at the slow speeds, because at high speeds, it's hard to trust it into tight turns. But in this kind of driving, it seems perfect, perfect. It's gonna pick up now, since there's traffic is. Uh, so now we're getting into a merge. We'll see what it does in a merge. We'll keep our hand on the wheel a little bit, but uh, you know, you'll see. Actually, I'm not holding it right now. So we'll see, here's a nice merge coming up. This other car on the right is going to want to come over. Oh, this car is doing a nice thing. It's accelerating. Ah, it's all on its own. Wow. Beautiful. So now, if you want to change lanes, you actually just use the blinker. I'm just going to turn on the blinker. The car will now change lanes on it. Not saying not to. Well, let's try that again. Oh, there's a car there. There you go. Blinker on. Yeah, it makes that lane change. Uh, flashing. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. All right, I got my hand on. Auto steer. Oh, now loud. Oh, now it says auto steer unavailable for the rest of the drive. Oh, it's penalizing me. All right, let's check that out. Ah, uh, regulations. Well, I had to pull off and go into park. And I just got out of the car, got a soda. Now I'm back in, it's working again. And I'm just going through the paces, like how, how long can I go without holding onto the wheel? Can I hold on with just one hand? And, uh, you know, which is, which is definitely better because then I could just, you know, point out the side. I still don't have to look ahead because I have my hand. So that was something else. That was a voicemail. So, you know, I'll have to put the technology.
technology through its bases. All right, here we are at the boatyard. New boat moved in here. A temporary spot, I'm sure. Busy day. Busy day. And here she is. Uh, see a few things have changed. Clint's done some work on the hatch. So that's a positive. It's a little details getting taken care of. All right, so Clint uh, worked on this now. Remember, this was sticking up a little bit. You sanded yeah. that down. I got it down as close as I could get that's it. That's perfect. That's perfect. So. Now, all right, and then you put a little, we can see there's a little wedge down there. Can you see that better now that it's in there? Yeah. Yeah. So I laminated a new wedge here. Okay. Boom. Because this was like, and it didn't fit the crown of the, it didn't fit the crown of the top of the hatch here. So I shaped it to the crown first. And now, see how much better that fits? Oh, it's perfect. Remember how much of a gap oh, there was? Oh, huge. This is pulled all now, the th way this forward. Is, this isn't lockable. I haven't tried the lock at all anyway, so. This is another lock. That doesn't fit the key that we have? Oh, no. Okay. I don't think so. Uh, so this yeah, has been going see. on a long time, it's obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. See yeah. how much they've sanded that? Look at that right yeah. there. Yeah. So, I mean, we get it covered, I think it's our best see. bet. Yeah, a little drain hole there. At this point in time, we don't want to tear this apart and try no, to figure no, that out. No, no, so. no. Nope, no, we'd like to, would like to see if we can free up this lock here. Probably need a new one. Yeah. You know, because again, we, we want to be able to lock the boat. Maybe now maybe we just, heed. all we have to do is actually put a lock on the inside. Like. Yeah, we could do that. And then you can lock that and then go and do the other door. <laughs> that probably makes more sense. And that's all I did Brilliant. was just get that shim under there and then I rebedded that with some dolphinite. That's why it's losing out there. But Okay. Brilliant. Yeah, that's a lot better now. Alright, well it's secure. Totally secure and without having to like reset that lock in a new hole, which oh, would have that would have been a nightmare. That would have been a nightmare. <laughs> uh, this egregious mistake right here. What they did, whoever did that. So what they had there is they had that the this winch. Is the, this is the underside of the winch. Yeah, they had it mounted directly to the roof to here. The house, yeah. Yeah, and you can see where the fender washers crushed into the wood. Yeah, and the, and and the laminate. Yeah. So what they did is they, and they also dug out the backside of this deck beam to fit the bolts or the nuts. See that? Okay. So what they should have done is put some kind of Blocking. plate here. Yeah. First. Yes. So what they did is they did that and then they covered up their ugliness with a bunch of blocks. So it was just wood covering all that crap stuff. So we should put a block in there now. I'd like to get, I would like to get like a metal, some kind of a aluminum plate or something at least because I, if I put a piece of wood, yeah, that's really not going to give us much strength. And we, this window has to open still. So I don't know. I mean, like a nice block of sapile that wouldn't provide, it would provide definite, and it would look way better than that. Yeah, and the only thing I don't like is where these two holes are drilled, right there. You kind of have to go with those holes because up on top of the house, there's that mounting block up there. Right. Which can't be moved aft any farther because it's right on the edge, and if we move it forward, those holes will disappear. Right. So we pretty much have to follow this pattern. Yeah. But we could, again, build a block and then bring it all the way down. Or, you know, or what I was saying is get a nice... Um, or a piece of metal. A piece of stainless or a piece of aluminum would be even good. You know, 3 sixteenths or more aluminum, 5 sixteenths. You get it in there and then put that in. And then we could actually cover that with something that's removable if it has to be. Like I could put the plugs in with like wood glue, not epoxy. But see what I mean about this? We couldn't move this aft any farther. We're right on the edge of that no. detail right there. Yeah, yeah. So, no, this, this wasn't, to this wasn't right really down. thought out that well. There's not a this lot of be pressure back. on this. Boom. Because of the way the, the whole thing is designed, 
uh, this ends up not being, you know, like a kid can hold this. Yeah. So that's why the, the you know, because it's got a pulley system okay. in the rigging. So this sheet, this main sheet, is just, there's never a lot of pressure on it. But uh, you can see it's the paint's cracking here. Yeah, yeah, well this needs to be pulled down, yeah. So I might like lift that up, get some wedges under there and see if it needs Glue to be it. re glued or I don't know how they put it on. They might have done it with 5200, so. Well, we already have this when I varnished it, so Beautiful. I put That's some perfect. satin on it. So I just made a couple of these, like this, this upper one. Perfect. That way you can have Oh, it's in there, it Super efficient and effective. We need those shelves. Yeah, for sure. That's a that's a huge amount of storage. So, and I just Beautiful. filed in all the old <coughs> crown molding that we had here. Right. Oh, let's see. Oh, beautiful. It's all back in. Yeah, I went. They they had it all nailed. I mean, it's not the nicest looking crown molding right now, but that's how it was. Okay. And I didn't want to make new crown molding. No, you know, I no, to make new no. Crown molding. So oh, everything so. right back how it went. There's gaps and things, but that's how it had the little nails. Yeah. All right. So I think I went. And it had bronze, bronze uh, nails in there. So right. I went and got some more bronze oh, nails. Beautiful. And so at least they all went back in. Yeah. Perfectly. Perfect. Right. We'll yeah. Just trim back up in here, Dave. Let's take. It. Ran the running light wires up in where they need to go. Oh, so. now look at that. All trimmed out beautifully. Oh, and then now let's look at the little the the the, 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 the piece of resistance. Oh, that was. Uh, Gave me some trouble getting that thing in there. <laughs> Look how beautiful it came out, huh? So what I did is... What kind is that, a piece of sapile? Yeah, it's a piece of sapile. The old one was like this. Okay. And it went across. So when I got this up here with a proper curve on it, I held it right to there and there. But <clears throat> all the epoxy and the filler that was behind here, yeah. I, I took a picture of it to show you. It was still showing? It was still showing. So I took 5 eighths off this and just slid it up a little more and matched the bottom. So the tops don't match, but the bottom does. And, gotcha. Uh, and that was just to really cover up the... Yeah, there was the seam there. And so look. funny how it, it didn't match. The seam wasn't... Well, they had they had this piece, and then they had another piece of trim on top, a little filler piece of trim on top of there. <laughs> and then they had another piece of trim under here, and one more piece covering the bottom. Because okay. of all the bolts and holes, and remember all the rotten right. the main beams. Yeah. So I think that looks pretty um, nice, Clint. And of course, you made plugs. See, this is what, I, what it looked like if I held it to the top of that trim on the left. It got most of it. But you covered most of the of the a little of the bit of weirdness yeah. in the corner, and that corner was all dug out. So I had to just clean it out a little get, bit. Huh? I had to get silly with a few shims in there to make it fit. But I'll just butter it up with some varnish and build it up, and I'll plug it today. But I wanted you to see this. Yes, that give me the great. okay before no, I plug I it. I love the little trim piece. Thank you for getting that back in. A new piece there. Yeah. New beautiful piece of sapile. So I got a soaker coat on that yesterday. Okay. Um, I'll plug it today. Get the plug sanded down. And you're and... gonna go with the matte finish. Yeah. And that... Just like this right here. So basically, as we finish, as we redo pieces, we'll do them in matte, mm -hmm. right? So if we revarnish this inside of the house. Yeah. We'll just do a little. We won't do the whole thing at one time. We'll just. Right. I'll pick a spot and take care of it that way. Okay. And, and he's another... also working on this little rail here. This handrail. Yeah. That uh, was was split. A repair job there. Yeah, can you we'll be show able to salvage it. So this is the old rail, the original rail, <laughs> but it was. You split can see right there was split. Nice split right there. So we fixed that, and there was okay. another split. Where is that other split? Uh, it's such a good okay. job. You can't see it right there. Going yeah, back. Yeah. So I epoxy those together, and we'll. Uh, came out. Them. Came out straight. Oh yeah. Perfect. Okay. Boom. We'll lay some varnish on that. And we set up a little shop here. <clears throat> Very good. Yeah. Portable shop. So yeah. this little piece right here went. Or actually, it went this way. So I gotta, I gotta pry it like that to get my piece behind this trim. This, but this is all funky here. So when I get that piece in, uh, I guess I could fill it. Sand. You're saying you'd rather get it in from the back side. I would, but there's a big, there's a bunch of battery cables going through here, and I don't want to. Oh yeah, I can push that, that off too much. Yeah, yeah. So I have to cut this back and I have yeah. to mess with that. That's no, just get it close. Just fit it in whatever you can. <laughs> and also, I tried to find this little one of these. Yeah. Because there's nothing wrong with this one except for the spring. Okay. The spring broke in half. Okay. So I have the thing in my truck, and Doug says it, uh, 
they got a bunch of springs over at uh, Ebony Hardware. Like, oh, okay. You pull the spring out. Can I you see? This, I took the old spring and I have it with the piece. Oh, ah, that'd be great. All it needs is a new spring and we can use it. It'll be fine. Beautiful. Yeah, because it's a nice little fitting. Yeah, kind of a nice original. Old. We'll keep that. Yeah. I did take this over to Beacon, try to find a matching something like that. Uh, they can. They no, they couldn't help me. They didn't even have the right hinges there, so I don't know if uh, West Marine or okay. Supply has something like that. If you have an account there, or you want me to, we can start one. Also, if you have a sample, I have a, a hinge guy in Pasadena. Very good. Finds I'll just old take hinges. Take off and give it to yeah. you. All right, plumbing. so we're hooking up new plumbing to the sink here. Yeah, but I'll put and, this uh, back in. What do you think about that bowl? Is that uh, just fine? I think it's, I think it's savable. Yeah. It's I'll just clean a, it up. Just, I mean, just I clean... aluminum. Oh, it's stainless steel. Stainless. Yeah. Okay. But I'll clean it up like I did this. This came out. That came anymore. out great. It came yeah. out all right. Yeah. So. So this, and it needs a new gasket underneath or whatever. Oh, I think they just had a, some kind of sealant under there. What we got there? Just a sealant. Okay. Yeah. But at least we see we do have new, the new uh, plumbing. Oh yeah, looks beautiful. Check it out. All brand the new, new, brand new faucet. Very much like the old one, and all the new plumbing, beautifully put together by Dave. And then this is the conduit for the heating system, the black pipe, mm -hmm. and the new through holes. All the wiring. Beautiful. Closet looks great. Never looked this good <laughs> in my life. Yeah, it looks a little better in there now. Again, with all the new fittings, just looks great. Solid. The bulkheads are all re glued. Dave put in this little hand shower. We won't discuss how he mounted it, but uh, <laughs> it's solid. And uh, if anybody ever takes a shower in here, I kill him. <laughs> There's no shower. It's just strictly for... That's for putting grease fires out on the stove. Uh, very nice, exactly. <laughs> That's for putting out the grease fires. Susanna leaked before all this, because I found some spots. Where she leaked last night? Mm-hmm. Or after that rain? Yeah, where? So obviously a couple of the windows. Not not through the deck though, did no, it? No, no, <laughs> not through the, just the deck. deck. No, that's not gonna leak. <laughs> okay, so where did it show? Okay, show? so I put tape everywhere there was water. Okay. So there was water here and I'm I'm not sure if it's because I don't have the fittings on up above. Okay. The vents. That might have been where that water was coming from, but it was coming in. And you can see that this is the seam is you can see it's it's been leaked yeah. before. Okay. So there's that. There was a leak on this window. Probably. Everywhere you see right, blue tank. right through the window. And I had them dog down all the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they were tight. It wasn't that they weren't tight. <laughs> right. Um, this how, how hard did it rain here? It rained pretty good. Okay. Yeah, good. That's a good, good. good test. How wet was it underneath here? Uh, just in these areas. How wet? I mean, but it was a lot. No, there was a little bit. I just wiped it up. Yeah. But it wasn't like, oh my God. No. So these little areas here where it came through. Yeah, this right here, right here. I'm not sure, so you can see where the water dripped down right there. Okay. It was just a little tiny drip in here. But I don't right. know, I don't know where it came from. Well, you know, you kind of have to see it when when we hit it with water. So in this window, so everywhere, I just marked it so we know which gaskets, if we need to get some Vaseline on there to make them more flexible or right. something, or buy new ones. Um, this window. Mm, yep, that my mom's, window. that's why she wouldn't. <laughs> This window, right? And I've been white. I bought a nice chamois. So yeah. Every morning, I've been wiping the boat down. Boom. So, like for example, you saw it leaking. How again? How much water was? Did, did you figure came through? Mm. It was in the drawer. There was a there was a bunch of splatters right here. Yeah. On this one and that one. All right. And do you think? No, no. Were, it was just. Do you think it was sorry. window leaks? Oh, I know it was window. Just leaks. Just window yeah. leaks. Yeah. You can see. Okay. It was like, so, so ultimately, we might want to look at at uh, replacing this, this gasket. You see all the filler? They had some kind of. I don't know what that is right there, but they, you can see all the grease, they had something on there, so. So in addition to some little leaks around these windows, Clint was just pointing out that there are some leaky areas here under the hatch. We're going to uh, take a look at some solutions, including of course, uh, having a whole cover for the top, but this area has obviously leaked in the past. 
So we have to take a closer look at that. All right, we're here with Tom talking about the shaft. So you, your shaft line is uh, a little bit old school, which I guess you would expect with this boat. You have no cutlass bearing that's per se. Okay. Like normal rubber cutlass bearing. What you have is packing, like a packing, packing yeah. on both ends of the shaft. And some kind of a clamp. Uh, the clamp on the, on the side we took out on the inside. Basically, it's a threaded nut that tightens the packing on the inside. Right. This one's just a flange right here. So right now we just have the old packing on the on the outside and no packing on the inside. Just so you can do your measurements and do whatever prop fitting you want to do. Okay. Um, so what we'll have to do is take this back part off, renew the packing on both sides, and tighten it back up and do the alignment. As you can see, you know you have a so it's supposed to be out for quite a while. That shaft log area has got some gaps in it. So I expect it's gonna change quite a bit once it gets in the water. Okay. So, once we put it in the water after the first initial day, we'll check it. And then uh, uh, maybe a couple weeks later, check it again, see okay. what's going on. Okay. To pull the boat at that point, you, just, you can do it internally? Yes, in the water. In the water. Great. Great. And this kind of packing, uh, you've seen this scenario before? I see it on old school fishing boats from, uh, from Old Scotia. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing in the modern air. No, no. And we can't change this kind of packing, right? We can't take this kind of scenario out and go to a different, we could. more of a cutlass we, bearing style. We could, thing. but it would take uh, a bit of work to do it. Okay. Probably have to rebore and, and redo the shaft log to do that. I mean the, the, the hole? The, not just the hole, but the, all the through. tube going all the way through. Oh, okay. So there is a log that, like a piece. I assume it's there's a log in there. In there I'm pretty sure yeah. there's a log in there. Okay. So. All right. Um, so let's stick with the old school then. For right. Now. For right now, I say let's stick with the old school. See how it works for it. Great. Now I know Clint brought over the uh, the prop. The rest of the prop right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should we take that over to the guys, to Brian? Should we take well, that over we to have Brian? To take this part off. So whoever took it apart only took half of it off. So this is the hub needs to come off too. Okay. And and uh, then maybe he can see what's going on. As far as that goes, but I think he's gonna plan to do it based on your engine and um, the different scenarios there. So not necessarily how far it's sticking out. Or... You know, it doesn't matter. He has no idea. He's usually thinking it's inside an aperture where where you have the rudder behind the behind yeah, behind, the, it. behind the prop. In this case, it really doesn't matter. So all right. So can, we, can, can you get that off? No, he can't get it off. I'll have to get it off. Take it off. You'll have to take that off. Yeah, it's on a taper. Taper. We'll have to get it off anyways because we're going to want to know what the taper is so he can match it. Okay. And if it's special or weird, then you're going to want to rethink maybe just making a new shaft instead of perpetuating some uh, strange prop taper instead of going to an SAE normal, uh, easily bought, easily maintained. Well, this prop. is a, this is, this, um, Feathering is folding three blade prop actually not it's not a two blade it's actually a three blade I learned from Charles <clears throat> it's considered like one of the top props you can get yes. Gobi or go yeah. Gobi and so it should be kind of in the realm of like what people are used to should be but doesn't mean that the hub on the shaft is the same okay there's there's, there's metric shafts there's you know, there's homemade shafts, there's, <laughs> okay. and there's SAE standard shafts. Okay, so we'd like to be SAE standard? You would, because that way, from here on out, you don't have to worry about it. Right? Okay. It's all standard. Okay. But let's see what it is. You okay. Know, there's no, it, it might be that way already. Okay. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's, there's been a lot of modifications on this boat, so it's not like it's, right. this is not the original. I mean, there's not exactly. too much original. It's got a Yanmar engine in there now. Yeah, right? exactly, right. It didn't start with a Yanmar. Exactly. <laughs> All right, great. So you guys will help get that off and then we can get it down to Brian. Should we measure the, he gave me a chart, you know, with some different measurements needed. Uh, Do you think now we drop we've... that off with him and I'll help you fill that out. Okay. Okay. I think I actually have it on my, in my bag. Okay. If not, I can print it out. And then uh, engine service, we'll do that afterwards. Okay. Once it's in the water? Yes. Oh, okay. Great.
Great. Yeah. And uh, and then painting, that's a Dale question. Yeah, we'll yeah. Deal. Okay. Oh, I see. They've already put a lot of coating on there. Yeah, they built that up quite a bit, so. Okay. All right, uh, Tom, thank you. What else should we be talking about? Um, as far as I know, that's all the only mechanical you need right now. Okay, so we're taking a look now at the paint. And they've been building up a little amount of paint here to help with the transition from the new wood to the old. So... It's almost there. So you're saying it's very close? Yeah, it's real close. But they didn't want to build it up with... They didn't want to build it up with filler. With Bondo. Yeah, no, not with Bondo. They wouldn't have used that, but they would have used some other epoxy filler. Okay. But they don't want to do that because the boat has a lot of swelling to do when we put it in the water. You might have cracking here and there with the boat growing, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So what they did is they just built this up here. Wow. And then they're going to spray this. They'll spray a couple coats on here, get it ready to go for the final coat. So yeah, they got it. It's pretty good. And they've... they've I mean, you can they, side down it. It's almost freaking perfect in a lot of areas. I see a couple spots that are a little bit... You can see a few spots? I don't see no spots. Yeah, you're right. It does look almost like fiber, like just a perfect... Yeah. It's, it's actually rhino liner. <laughs> it's rhino liner. <laughs> We're gonna rhino line the boat. <laughs> no, you can see a little bit like, I don't know if you can see. It's a, it's a certain type of paint that doesn't get. It's a high build primer. Right, a yeah. primer, right. See right here? This is one area that I see that they'll, they'll put a little more in here. See that? Okay, see yeah. That little dip right there? There's so a little. You, if you look back, it's almost perfect. When they sand that, you won't even see it. This might even come out because this is built up so high. Right. Board sand that, which it looks like Elias is coming back. Sand. I mean, we got this good. You can feel this right here, Charlie. Mm. I can see how smooth it is. Good. That looks like very fine sandpaper. Oh no, that was a thick, that was a heavy grit to knock it down. To knock it down. <clears throat> but what it did is it gave us <clears throat> gave the boat some tooth for that paint. Oh. It's gonna go on there and stick super okay. super good. Will they hit it with all the same kind of paint now? The first coat will be this kind of thick. But once primer. they get this sanded down, they'll prime the whole thing. They'll prime the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. So see that? Look at that. That came in nice. And Rob, this was all over the years, all weird. Because our new stuff stops about right. Oh, okay. Right in here. So this area up here on both sides. Now what about that? Have they installed this, uh, the roller? No, that's just on there temporary right now until we get that plate welded up. Do they know about that? Uh, I think Doug talked to him about it, so that's okay. something I could take care of too. But that, we, we don't have to do that right this second. kind of want to get this shaped and filled and painted and then that'll get bedded and installed after the paint's on there. And these hoss pipes right here too. Okay. I'm gonna so, have to start miking you. <clears throat> you're doing all the explanations. I always look on at the uh, episodes. And <laughs> it sounds so funny. It's just the way you sound. So here they're doing the same thing. Yeah, they're see, just covering it just because I guess the sun gets. Arnie, Arnie planks like right here. Here's the top of Arnie plank right here. Okay. Yeah, I can so definitely all this see right that. Here was all chingered up and. But you can see they built it up nicely. That should sand out. They might have enough on there that'll sand out. Ready to take some paint. So but they've already prepped this here. The boards. Okay. See that's gone. Ready to go. Oh man. So they'll fill that. Any cracking. Any little filler pieces they need to do. Okay. No wonder that's as expensive as it is. So what was going on here on this piece here? What's it called? I forget. It's the boards. The bullocks. Yeah. The boards. So this just needed to be prepped for the paint. Right. We painted all at one time. And it was it was already white before, right? It yeah. was just white. Yeah, it was white. Okay. Great. So yeah, that's that there. All the way down. All the way down. What's on the bottom? Some, just penetrating the poxy. 
where we board sanded, and then this here is uh, now when does this is the spin? primer. Remember when they sprayed it that first time? For the oh, Santa Anas? Okay. So we got Santa Anas coming this week. So this is the Again. this is the paint that was on there from the very yeah, beginning. Yeah, this is that first coat of primer right here. Okay. Which is a good primer, so. <laughs> Not go all the way down? No, no. We'll get bottom paint below our Where's my marks here? Here's one mark right here. This is the old water line. See that little X yeah. right there? And then it goes, whew, there's another one and it goes right. Basically above this water. How are you gonna fill that? You're not. No, the little X? No, 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 that's our water line mark. Okay. So when the boat's all painted, <clears throat> that'll always be in there. You know, you just tap with the screwdriver. They lose the water line, you know what I mean? You're saying you can always find it? You can always find it. That's from our jig that we made. But on the final coat, you know, you'll have your water line, so when the final coat's on there, then you'll get, patch that'll it. That'll finally get filled, yeah. Okay. Oh, I love the absorbers. Dude, this thing I is love the absorbers. Sweet. Oh, yeah. You gotta keep, <laughs> you always have to keep them in the, oh, yeah. You have to keep them in the thing. Keep them I once. love it, especially when the absorbers are new. Oh, They're like, ah. Oh. So I bought the a white of those. Nice, nice. So I've just, just been wiping the boat down every morning. So yeah. If you don't, it just. Uh, it feels like it's the right almost way like it gets it. washed every because there's dew every night, so right. you wipe it down with that. Like What's going on with the um, with the yard? Uh, I haven't had a chance to see those guys today, okay. so I was just messing with that. But I was going to. Does it look like something they've been working on? That? Not today, not are, yesterday. Are they ready to? Uh, maybe they're ready to paint. I hope so, because it looks like we're going to get good weather here for the next couple days. Yeah, it's supposed as to be as far as yeah, hot, hot Santa yeah. Ana. So. <clears throat> How about the shaft? They get the shaft. They got the shaft in. Nice. I have to go talk to Tom. Or no. Yeah, we could go meet Tom. I brought the uh, the prop over. Oh, you found it. Yeah, I found it. I brought it over. Now does the prop guy need to see that? Yeah. Does we need to take it to him, or is he gonna come down here? No, I think we need to take it to him. Just we'll coordinate with Tom. Okay. I can always take it over there, or we can go over there today. I was okay. gonna maybe go over there. All right. Yeah. And uh, meet those. Introduce ourselves. Brian is the guy's name over there. And uh, have them check it out. Yeah. That's wiping her down every day. Look how great the windows look. Shiny, shiny, shiny. And, uh, yeah, we're counting down here. Though we've almost been here a month now. Yeah. For end of this is before. Right? Yeah, basically like four weeks at the end of this week. So you know, eh. we're getting there. Nice to, we're getting there. We're still a couple of weeks away, for sure. It looks like this week is gonna be nice, nice weather. If he could though, get a so. yeah, nice coat on it, huh? Uh, maybe I'll go over to the um, to the office and tell him, you know, we need we need, I need that slip because also we want to be able to put the dinghy over there. Mm -hmm. Dinghy's yeah, being we serviced. Out where we're gonna put the dinghy. They'll bring it over here for us. Okay. I'm not sure if they're gonna have it inflated when they bring it or if it's. We'll talk to them. What I guess whatever we ask them to do. Just tell them to deflate it. Bring it over, we'll put it back in the, in the shed. Yeah. Okay.